Services, and I just wanted to say, you know, my kids, Herschel and Morgan, and my niece, Mia, um, they showed me a whole lot about this social media, internet stuff, so I'm getting more involved. I've been dabbling in it, but they get me more and more involved because of the results and the things that I've been trying to do, and trying to put me on game on it. Okay, parents. Stop telling your kids, oh, the social media is the devil. Quit doing that. Quit doing this. Quit doing that. You're stuck. I was stuck. But you're stuck. You're stuck in a generation that we were brought up seeing it happen. Now it's in their generation where they're making it happen. They're able to make income. They're able to be able to become, you know, uh, good bloggers. They're making income from the passive income. Some of them are even making, like, literally a straight up income from it because they work hard at it. And these kids know this is because they grew up into that stuff. We didn't. We thought it was all propaganda. Oh, they just trying to do this. They just trying to do that. Stop telling your kids don't be on social media. Stop telling your kids to stop making YouTube videos. Some kids make like 10, you know, videos a day and they post them. Support them kids. Support them kids. Support all of them that's doing that. And first of all, you need to get with it. Because just like back in the day, when your parents were down and you about listening to NWA and Ice T and you know DJ uh, Khaled and all this stuff, that's not from our generation. You can't go back. You only can move ahead. And if you stay stuck in that old world, you might miss out on something. So with that being said. I am thanking my daughter, my son, and my niece for putting me on game with the social media thing. I mean, I know I don't have the best stuff going and the best quality videos, but at the same time, I'm learning. Hell, I'm old. I'm learning, but I'm going to get it, and I'm working on it consistently because of their motivation and their inspiration. It's not like they're talking bad to me or talking down. They just keep saying, no, you got to do it like this. You got to do it like that, blah, 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 blah. And, I, and, and, I, and they're not big now on there or whatever. Like my son has this channel where he does interviewing and stuff or talk about wrestling because he loves wrestling. Um, Mia, she does everyday life stuff as a team. And my daughter really doesn't do it, but she watches certain people on like YouTube and on Twitter and all that kind of stuff. You know, and she's into a lot of different things that sooner or later I'll probably help her out while she's doing that social media stuff. So stop being in that old bag and get into this new bag. I am trying to get into the new bag too. So for anybody to say anything about these kids doing that type of stuff, you really need to just calm down and let these kids do what they do. Because if you don't, you're not doing nothing but blocking them from their destiny or their patterns or whatever it is that they're trying to do, you know what I'm saying? So you got to kind of look at that like that. I look at it like that because I feel a lot of the kids are very, very technically intelligent. They have everything down packed. They know what to do, and it's in fun with them just like we had fun outside playing basketball and all that kind of stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. You keep them active and physical and make sure they take care of the responsibilities and stuff. But if they have a hobby or some type of niche that they're trying to develop, let them. Let them develop that. 
they deserve it. You know, we, we did what we wanted to do, so why not let them do what they wanted to do? And it don't do nothing but go down the line. If you think about the things your parents were doing and how they were raised and telling you, you know, don't do this, don't do that, or do this and do that, you still did what you wanted to do. You were able to be able to make whatever it was happen come true, and then all of a sudden you're like, see, Mom, I told you. See, Dad, I told you. Why go through that? Just support them. I mean, even if you just give them one like or one share or one notification or one comment on their page or just even look at it, you know what I'm saying, For the, so they can get their views and stuff up. You know, they're trying to get the... Passive income or their their entertainment through their internet stuff. So just saying. All right, I'm still working on mine. So y'all know what I'm doing. Like I said, it was the death of the uh, Bartender Chronicles, which was I was trying to do that because somebody told me to try to do that. So I did it. <laughs> it was fun. It was interesting watching myself look crazy on this stuff and now i'm so comfortable with doing it and i've always been an entertainer anyway so i'm working on it but like i said you know less stress dj services coming soon um i will be uh having this channel where i'm going to be actually once i get my mixing down and stuff i'm gonna have a lot of Songs that probably wasn't released and stuff like that from artists that I'm good friends with or whatever that I know that it's not going to mind me putting it up there. Instead of putting all the famous, popular people music out there, I'm going to be putting their music out there. Um, and it's just for entertainment purposes. I ain't getting paid for it or nothing like that. I'm just doing it because I really like those songs. And those are the songs that I still bump to this day. And they was made in 2000, 2015, 2008, 2002, 98, 90, 97, all that. So, yeah. All right. Tell a friend to tell a friend. DJ Big Sway. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and if you have any questions about anything with me learning this Serato DJ and this control and everything, just leave something in the comment. I will get back with you as soon as possible. I am trying to put one video up a week right now because I'm working regular job and I'm learning this and I'm going in a train and doing some other stuff. So. Be patient with me, because it's coming, because I can't wait to mix some of this stuff from artists like Mr. D. Smooth, uh, The Less Stress Camp, uh, ABK, which is uh, Fat Fat Stacks, and um, Big Mo, which is Romo, and then uh, artist uh, Flipmaster Big Mo, uh, Miss Law, Shut Em Down, Baseline, uh, Uncle Def, uh, my some of my old stuff when I was rapping, um, uh, just a few, just just a few. Yeah, probably have a couple episodes on it. So y'all be patient with me, and I will be coming back and letting y'all know exactly. You know, in the description, I'm gonna put um, whatever the title of the song is, who it is, because I don't know if anybody ever put them out or whatever. But I'm just going to be mixing them and stuff because I like the songs and stuff. And, you know, thank God, you know, I was blessed to be able to be around these people to hear all this brilliant work. To me, it's brilliant. To you, it might, you know, be something that you would want them to re-release. I don't know. You know, I just want to put it out there. So other artists, too, if you want me to add your stuff into my mix when I start doing this mix, Leave me a comment and I'll put it out there. I will. I mean, I know I don't got that many views or subscribers or stuff, but hey, it's a start. And I'm listening to the kids and they guided me. Yeah, the kids are guiding me. Okay? So don't hate. Congratulate. Motivate. Love somebody. You hear me? Show some love. Show some support, you know, to the people that you, you know, dealt with or helped you out in the past or whatever. You never know where this thing can take us. Don't forget to subscribe. Back at you. Holla back. Choke on the death with my bird.